Hello everybody, it's Derek here, and welcome to an inside sneak peek of the Skull Crawler build. And what we've got here is um, sketches and the templates that I've got pretty much done to the way I like it. But we also have some um, beginners drawing types things, like we've got feet here. And I'm just going to go sh through this and show you, um, well, everything that I've got done here. So let's start with this little piece of paper here. You can see some feet that um, I designed there and some other bits there. Um, this is circled because this is an actual piece to the template for the skull crawler. So that will be on the finished skull crawler there. These were uh, just some drawn ups for the sides. X those out, didn't like it. But there's that. And here is just the first sketch of the skull crawler right there. As you can see, I just didn't like it. Didn't like how it was turning out. So I redid it. And here is the finished drawing that I went with. And it looks pretty good. Um, and you can see all the different parts here. And from the template, I got all the different pieces from this pretty much. And so that's that. And there's the body. And you can see the different segments of the tail. Because again, the tail will be able to move like a snake. So that's these parts are going to move like that. There are four points. So this bit will move, move, move. And this bit moves. So you have four points in articulation there. And you can see the points there for the neck. So this bit will be um, pushed into the body and pushed into the neck area. So you can actually make it do walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> so you can have to go rah, 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 and you know, you can go he, 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 like that. That's pretty much what you can do with the head like that. Or even underneath because you can bend it that way. Same things with the legs. You can see that there's a point there, a point there, and a point there. Now the video will be done a little bit differently for this build in particular. So let's get that out of the way. And here we have the template. Um, one of the template pages. And you can see there it is cranked one big page of pieces. There's the neck, there's the head, the skull that covers over that to add more detail, the top covering and all of that. These are the different tail pieces. Um, I guess I'm not done with the template yet because I need to draw these sides for the other side. So those aren't finished just yet. Some spikes for the tail, a um, little bit done there. And there's the final feet. And these bits are the points that jet out from the skull crawler's legs to attach different parts there. So these parts attach to this, these will attach to these bits, um, this is the tail, now this is also part of the uh, body, which these will be attaching to the sides of these, and all of that, so you can see how that is going to look all together, and there is all of that for this page, and for the feet, like I said, the feet are going to be done a little bit differently, um, if you look, let's see, here we go, so I kind of think of kind of was thinking about how to do the feet because let me just grab someone really quick uh, I'll just grab the ultimate source here if I show you the ultimate source feet they're pretty much just flat like that and they go because I you know you've seen most of my builds where I put the flat piece of cardboard down and I attach it to the side and that's how I built the foot but that's not what we're going to be doing with the skull crawler here what you can see here is that the foot base is actually wider than this because if you do look at an image of the skull crawler the feet are actually wider out so we're going to just be transferring that to the build and the feet are actually going to extend out past the feet and then it's going to be bits that point out from that into the skull crawler um, leg part here and that's going to have the swivel joint which is shown right there and that will give the foot ability to move up and down which you know is something you can see on the big version where the peg is hole right there and then you can move move all these pegs will be hidden inside so these are just points of references to show me exactly where i'm going to put those little pegs and so there's that template and this is just the templates that couldn't fit onto that page and then of course i've got the top section of the skull crawler and this isn't entire accurate because of how the tail is going to be put together this bit is just for the body base here everything else can just be cut off but um there's that and this just shows me the points where the uh, limbs are going to attach you can see right there and that's just the belly so that is pretty much all the parts of the template and now i had to get all these cut out and glue two cardboard like this cereals box cereals hmm? Real honey, so we're going to turn this real honey Cheerios box into a skull crawler. Um, it's going to be more than just this Cheerio box to do that. 
But um, yeah, so that is an in-depth look at the beginnings of the Skullcrawler build. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all on the next one. Until then, have a great day, and goodbye, everybody.